Hello everyone and welcome back to Piano Secrets. Today we will be working on Perfect by Ed Sheeran and uh, we're gonna start on the second part. The first melody that we have is based on D major. If we have the notes D, E, F sharp, G and A, we could say that we could take the following melody. And that's what we have. So we have F sharp, E, D, F sharp, F sharp. Now we will try to mock the uh, voice a little bit by adding an A on the top and doing a grace note. So it will end up like this. So this is based on D major. And if we have D major on the right hand, we could also have D major on the left hand. So the first thing that we'll do is try to use these notes with it. So we have D, A, D, D major. Now uh, let's try just that. So if we do the grace note, there we have it. Let's do it one more time. Now, just like we did on the on the first tutorial, we're gonna flip over and add a ninth. So we'll add the E, F sharp, A, and D. The ninth is the bridge to get there, so it's the E. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. So that E helps us go to the other side. So, and we use the fourth finger. Now, if we do it all together, uh, this part on D major will have this now. D and F sharp, and then the ninth with the F sharp again. Let's do it one last time. Okay, just remember that you could practice separate hands, melody. Left hand. And then put it all together. Okay, now we're gonna go to the next melody, which is gonna be on A major. D major, they're both related. So, what we'll do on the next melody, we'll take A, A, F sharp, we slide the E to an E. C sharp with two and D. One last time. The right hand by itself will end it up like this. Okay. And for the a major will take two notes on the left hand only, C sharp and A. But note that those notes come from this chord. C sharp, A, we bring it up. So we only have this. If we do it all together, one last time. Now I'm going to play both and see what it sounds like. Okay, so... That's where it matches, so... Da, da, C sharp and F, E and A, and then we go to B. Okay, now once we get to D, we are going to play a different chord on the left hand, different ar arpeggio, but we kind of stop this melody. So we have those two melodies on the right hand. Now we're going to do what we call a B minor 7. So B minor 7 will be this. But we're going to do standard. So we'll put this D here and the A up here also. So we end up with this position and also this position, which is like a D major. 
I show you the notes B F sharp D we use this as a pivot we put two over on F sharp A F sharp D and we stop there I will practice just left hand by itself practice faster than the way you're gonna play it now let's try it to both melodies okay now the next melody is gonna go to G major and what we do instead of keep playing here we already play, played high enough so we're gonna drop the register and play in the middle trying to mock uh, kind of like a different instrument altogether and the melody that we have is this okay I do it one one more time so D E F sharp G G F sharp F sharp E and we're gonna have another one but I wanna make sure that uh, maybe you can add these grace notes so all the way up from D to G okay to these we'll just add a G major as a background you could just move that around G, D, B, G D, G, back and forth. You could stay here, or you could just move the the bass and back. Now let's try it together. Last time. Okay, and we have a uh, kind of one last melody. It's just same notes again. Double D, E, F sharp, E. All together. Okay, so now what we do is we keep the same background and we play those notes. For this part, it doesn't really matter where do you match them. The important thing is to keep this background going somehow. And develop a feel on the, the way you want to express that uh, passage. So I don't really think uh, where, it, where it goes matching each one. Because I want to uh, leave something for to be more spontaneous. And sometimes it's, it's good to know where it matches, but sometimes it's true that uh, if we play a little bit and even, it creates a little bit uh, more of a spontaneous feel. Let's play up to there, and then we have uh, an A minor ninth, and another melody, and then that will be the second part. Let's try what it sounds like all, all the way through. <laughs> already we'll add a couple of notes we add a e a d a d okay and after this with arpeggio the right hand jumps to a We have the A major melody by itself, and again we go to the D ninth. Okay, I'm gonna play it all together one last time, and uh, we'll see what it sounds like.
hope this video was helpful and if you enjoy it subscribe uh, maybe you have some comments you could comment below and let us know uh, about the song uh, and um, please ring the bell so you could see me on the next video thank you very much Thank you.